So Alex, what do you think we should do today? We should go over three-point lighting technique. Okay, but you're teaching. Wait, what? All right, well, today uh, we are, what you're looking at is a basic, very basic three-point lighting system. And because I am in charge, Scott has to do whatever I say. In this case, be my model. If you're there, who's behind the camera? Uh, John's helping. Oh, hi, John. Hey, Scott, how's it going? Pretty good. Welcome to the Prop Master's Handbook. Thanks. This you is... say hi to me. I'm in charge now. Oh, uh, hi, Alex. Hey, John. Are you done? Can we... Yeah, let's go. All right, so uh, first thing I want to go over is what you're going to need for this very cheap, very basic uh, three-point lighting system. First thing is clamp lights. Um, they're really inexpensive, about $10 a light, compared to hundreds of dollars for real professional ones. This is a much better deal. And they're really easy to use. You can clamp on to pretty much anything. Show them how it clamps. There you go. All right. Now, Scott, sit really still, because I'm going to go through these lights. So, we're starting off with basically nothing. You can barely see anything in the camera right now. We want to get some light on Scott's face. The first thing we'll want to do is add the key light. That is slightly to one side of his face, and it's going to be our brightest light source. You want to have your key light on the side of the face that is further away from camera. So Scott, if you turn a little bit towards me over here, no, nope, other way, uh, that way, that's kind of the, the placement where your brighter light is going to be. Our second light is our fill light. It's kind of darker but it's gonna, it's a softer light, it's a little less bright than the key, and it's just kind of filling in all the shadows that you're gonna get by using a key light. Part three, my favorite, and the least utilized in DIY stuff is the backlight. You can see it's not lighting Scott's face at all, but it's just kind of coming around the rim of his hair and on his shoulders. What that is doing is separating Scott from the background, which is really important so that your actors don't just blend in and feel really flat against whatever wall or whatever is behind you. So, you can see, I turn off the backlight real quick, go through them again, adding in each time. Start with our key, then we're gonna add in our fill, which is just kind of evening out the other side of his face, and then adding in our backlight become separated from the background. And that's it. It's super simple, really cheap, really easy, and something that's going to make your film or really anything where you're using lights look a lot better. Thanks for joining us in the Prop Master's Handbook. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little low-budget DIY lighting lesson. If you want to learn more uh, and enjoyed this lesson, comment below with other uh, topics that you want to learn. Um, see you next time. Scott, get rid of that stuff. It's your stuff. You get rid of it. Yeah, but it's my show and I told you to. Yeah. <laughs> How do you guys get anything accomplished? <laughs>